This is my crib, this is my view, and this... Oh, this is my 10-foot eagle. Cradle I haven't played an adventure quest in quite some time, but Cradle stood out with its post-apocalyptic steampunky theme. The story is what really makes the game. It's well delivered and encourages the player to investigate on his own. The setting is also very well presented, and although the world is fairly small, the great visuals and audio make it feel genuine. The puzzles do a good job of keeping you entertained, but aren't very difficult and mostly require you to fetch items. The four mandatory minigames, which after one fail can be skipped, although explained through the story, gameplay-wise feel out of place and seem to be included just to fill time, because even with them, the game is about 6 hours long. Overall, the voice acting is competent, which makes the guy who voiced the protagonist sound even worse. The combo of force motion blur and low FOV will knock out people who get easily motion sick, and if you can't achieve a proper frame rate, you can lower the quality slider. Now, you may be asking, what is a quality slider and what does it do? It's a magical thing that gives zero information on its function and changes the quality and sometimes the performance. I say sometimes because despite having a small world, the game stutters more than Jimmy Valmer trying to save pancreatic duodenectomy. And I know it's getting old, but changing the controls should be the most basic thing in a game, and yet it's often missing. In the end, I'm sad that Cradle has technical issues, because without them, it would have been much, much easier to recommend. But if you still want to dive into its intriguing world, but also have a strong stomach, you can find the Steam page linked below.